What's an OER? Well, it's an acronym that stands for Open Educational Resources, and it refers to anything used for learning and teaching purposes that carries an open copyright license. It allows other users to make derivative copies, that is to adapt and change the materials, and then they can share those materials with others. So much of the content that I teach across these courses is very contemporary, very current. And actually, a lot of the material that I'm most interested in, in hasn't made it to textbooks yet. We created Francais Interactif, our OER, because we couldn't find a commercially uh, produced textbook that suited all of our needs. So we decided to create our own. When I'm teaching cultural content, which is often from a very different time and a very different place, I want to recreate a virtual world for them to make that material vivid and impactful. It's a challenge for us to stay up to date and keep our students informed of the latest cultural trends and even language, which changes um, every year. Consistency of access to materials is for me the largest challenge for an open educational resource that I do not create and I do not control. So what I have done in many cases is to place those materials downloaded, re-edit them. Besides the fact that I got to design it exactly how I wanted it, there's a big advantage to having materials that are free and available to the students to access in a format that's easy for them. I think a lot of the times uh, costs are a major concern. My textbook is free. I think it's actually very um, uh, rewarding, both from the student side who get a chance to see something different in the course, and from your side because the course is a lot more organic. It does it. It's not the same course you taught last year. Hi, I'm Ashley Morrison, and as the Open Education Librarian at UT, I partner with faculty and staff all across campus to find, adopt, or even create open educational resources, or OER for short. So to get started, all you have to do is contact me. Another great resource is your subject liaison librarian. They're all really knowledgeable about OER as well, and they can loop me in as needed. Then we can get started with a search for you. We can get information and do the search together, or we can even teach you how to navigate those OER databases and repositories yourself if you're interested in locating information on your own. So I'll partner with you and your subject specialist liaison to start looking for those and hopefully provide you with a short list of OER that match your needs. This might also include free or library licensed resources in addition to OER with the goal of saving your students money. And in some cases, you might be interested in creating OER uh, if what you need doesn't actually exist right now. So in those cases, I can work with you throughout the publishing process too. That might mean consulting with you on the best platforms to use for the OER you're creating, locating peer reviewers at other institutions who can provide you with feedback, or marketing the OER that you've created after the fact so that it gets into the hands of the people who need it most at other institutions.